So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how we calculate the Z score between two different values. Now, what I want you to understand is that when you're using the Z score table for this probability here, where we have Z being between with a greater value, the greatest value being 1.12 and its lowest value being a boundary of 0 0.23 on the Z score table, we have to identify those on our table. So you know what you have to do. You got to go for the 0 0.23, the lower end, I have to go and find 0 0.2 and then go over to the 0 0.3 column and then find it. And in this case, my value is 0 0.59. So I've got that first part. So the next part, I have to go and find 1.12. So when I'm looking for 1.12, I'm looking for 1.1 column, which is right here. And I'm looking for the 0.2 column, which is right here. And then I find that answer to be this. So when I go and calculate my final set of information, you start with this. You write P of 0 0.2, of 0 0.23. Oh boy. Whoops of 0 0.23 is less than Z, which is less than 1.12, can be rewritten as this. The top half, the top probability minus the bottom probability. So you're gonna write the probability of Z being less than 1.12 and plus, sorry, minus the probability of P of Z being less than 0 0.23. So you end up you end up with these two numbers 0 0.8686 minus 0 0.5910. Now in doing so, what this allows us to do is it allows us to simply just subtract to get the area underneath the curve in this case. So now you end up with this answer, which gives us 0 0.2776, which is approximately 28%. And that's it. So basically when we're doing these problems, we literally have to take our time and ensure that all our information is loaded up into our solution. So let's just go over it one more time. So what I did was I took a look at my two endpoints, 0 0.23 and, point and 1.12 on the Z chart. I found those values on the Z chart here and here, okay? Now that I found those points, right, then I said, all right, now we have to go and take the topmost probability, which is the 1.12, and subtract the lowest probability. And that's it. Get our answer and give back our final answer of 0 0.2776, which really is about 28%. So now, so, how the heck do you work with these Z scores where you have P of Z is equal to this thing here. Well, this is what you do. You literally take this and you say, okay, P of absolute value of Z means of Z being less than eight means the following. It's very similar to what we did before. So you're gonna break this up into two parts. <laughs> You're first going to say that this is P of Z being less than 0 0.8, negative 0 0.8, but Z is less than 0 0.8. And, we, and so now what we have to do is we have to imagine that we're actually going to calculate P of Z being less than 0 0.8 minus so that's the top minus the bottom probability, P of 
Z score less than negative 0 0.8. Now, in order to do that, we're going to have to look at our overall Z score table. So let's just do that right now. So when we look at the Z score table for the negative half of the distribution, you've got negative, here is our negative 0 0.8 right here. Okay. And then we have to go across all the way across to the very end. And you'll notice that your answer is this thing here, 0 0.2119. So once we have that, what we have to do is we're going to go and put that as the lower half of our, of our probability. So we're literally going to put minus 0 0.2119. Then we have to go and find the probability distribution for the Z being less than 0 0.08. So let's do that now. And we find the following. We find for 0 0.08, its value is along this spot here and its first value is here. So we have 0 0.7881 minus 0 0.2119, and that gives us a final answer of, so we end up with 0 0.761, which is approximately 58%. And that's it, we're done.